Oh, hello, Internet. Welcome back to Ryan Builds Wheels with me, Ryan from Ryan Builds Wheels. <laughs> Today, I want to talk to you about how to measure ERD, that's effective rim diameter. ERD is one of the most crucial measurements to get right when building a pair of wheels. One millimetre of incorrect ERD measurement is going to result in roughly half a millimetre of spoke length error. So it's important to get right. And for that, we've got an array of tools. Now. This video is entitled The One Way to Measure Bicycle Rim ERD, or something like that, I've not decided on the exact time yet. But I'm going to show you several ways to measure. What I really want to talk about is what ERD is, because there's some people out there who seem to constantly like to argue about exactly what we're measuring when we're trying to do our spoke calculations. And, quite frankly, your pedantry angers me. <laughs> so without further ado, Let's talk about bicycle rim, effective rim diameter. Woo! All right, let's start with a simple thing then. What is ERD? It's a measurement that you're going to be taking in order to calculate some spoke lengths. It's basically telling you the distance from one side of the rim bed to the other side of the rim bed where your nipples are going to be seated. If you were to visualize it across the wheel, it would look like this. You see what I'm trying to get at. Where the spoke ends up on the inside of the rim. How do we measure ERD? One of the simplest solutions is to use a set of ERD sticks. These are a pair of spokes with the nipples you intend to use threaded onto them. Those spokes are cut to a predefined length. I like to cut mine to 150 millimeters each. ERD is actually nipple specific. And here you'll see that I have a variety of ERD sticks set up with different types of nipples. Super simple. Using ERD sticks is a simple task. Take one of your ERD sticks and place it in the spoke hole above or below the valve hole of the rim. You then need to find the join of the rim and place it in the, the other stick in the inverse to that. Then perform a check to make sure you have the same number of spoke holes to tell you that yes, your ERD sticks are in fact at 180 degrees to each other. At which point, you can now take a quality steel rule, line the end of one ERD stick up with zero, and take a measurement across. In this case, I'm seeing a reading of 280 millimeters. You've got to add the length of each of your ERD sticks to that measurement. My ERD sticks are 150 mil each. They combine to make 300, plus my 280 means that this rim has an ERD of 580 millimeters. Let's continue using the example of ERD sticks to show you how two different nipples from Sapim would give wildly different ERD dimension. Another very similar method to measuring ERD using ERD sticks comes in the forms of rim rods. BSC's rim rods are very similar to ERD sticks, but in this case, they are a nicely machined stainless steel rod with labour etchings on there to show you the measurements. As you can see, the rim rods go in exactly the same as an ERD stick, uh, and they actually come with these rather nice little bulldog type clip affairs to hold everything tight for you. And you can then, once you've got them both on, go and cross-reference what it says here. And this is where I feel where things start to get interesting, because whilst those markings are very fine and hard to see on camera, I can tell you that that is telling me that my ERD is 576. What's going on? Well, let me tell you, because this is where the bone of contention starts. The rim rods aren't actually measuring ERD, they are measuring nipple seat diameter. The place where the nipple is going to seat in the rim and doesn't take into account where the spokes are going to end, so you've got to add that little bit for how much more your nipple is going to lie above that. Which brings me to another handy tool, which I think does the whole nipple seat diameter thing better. Allow me to introduce you to the Sun Spikenreckner. So I've been trying to find a 
good, clear, fast, handy way to measure rims that doesn't cause me to have to sit there squinting with my eyes every goddamn day. And uh, whilst I think I'm going to create something a little bit more bespoke and boutique for my own personal use here, probably wall mounted, more on that another time, I think that uh, for me right now, the Son Speichenreckner is it. Lovely, clear markings. Just, just easy. That tells me what the nipple seat diameter is when this tool is placed in the rim. We've got the rod area in one end. I'm going to put that all the way through. I'm going to switch to the other side of the rim. I'm going to take that. I'm going to place it over the tool. Bring them both together. We're going to go and take that measurement. It's super clear. 576. So, how do we take nipple seat diameter and reverse engineer the correct reading? We know that RERD sticks are accurate because if you take a look at my previous video, 10 minutes of nipples, about where that spoke is going to sit within the nipple once the wheel is complete, that's the measurement we're trying to derive when calculating spoke clumps. So let's take a look at our ERD sticks. And if I take an ERD stick here, and if I measure from where that nipple would hit the spoke bed, add the height of that nipple head, then we'll find that there's another two mil worth of spoke inside the nipple head, which plus the four extra millimeters from two times two millimeters of those nipple heads gives us our original reading of 580 millimeters. But, I hear you ask, what's all the hoo-ha and why are some people continuing to argue about what ERD is and what it's designated as? I'd suggest that the hoo-ha is that there's a lot of conflicting information out there and that rim manufacturers, they haven't got the time to attempt to inform the public. Some manufacturers, such as DT Swiss, print the ERD on their rims and in DT Swiss's case, when using the nipples and washers that are supplied with the rims, their measurements are correct and can be trusted. Thanks very much, DT Swiss. Side note, remember that adding washers is going to change your ERD. So this brings us to another thing. In generally speaking, there seems to be some confusion as to whether ERD is a fixed dimension or not. And it's not. It's effective rim diameter. It's essentially a moving target. But you've got to consider a whole bunch of things. Which nipples you're using, whether or not you've got any washers on the go. And finally, how far into your nipple you intend to make the spoke go. Some nipples, like double square or, or squawks, have quite a range of acceptable spoke lengths. You'd end up with a wheel built up just fine anywhere within those tolerances. The pedantry that occurs is when people start talking about oh, you're actually trying to measure nipple seat diameter, or so on and so forth. But I'm just going to cut to the chase. Every single online spoke calculator out there asks you to input the effective rim diameter and not nipple seat diameter, because otherwise you'd have a further measurement to add to the spoke calculation. Well, thanks very much for joining me. It's been a pleasure on a Monday when I'm slightly manic and somewhat Ill, so I hope things have been clear for you. Which of these tools is my favourite right now? I'd suggest that due to its clarity, my go-to tool is going to become the Speichenreckner. Gotta love German language. Uh, I'm actually going to get some of them up on the website. So spokesfromryan.com and we should have a few of those in stock. If we haven't, drop us an email. We'll be glad to get them in for you. And in the future, I am going to make some sort of all singing, all dancing, wall mounted ERD measuring device that's going to be super simple to use here in house because hey, I'm sick and tired of squinting. Either way, hope all this has been super useful to you. Any questions, just ask me down below in the comments. Thanks for joining and see you next time, Wheel Nerds. I don't have any of these tools to hand. What on earth am I going to do? Well, firstly, 
the ERD sticks are super easy to make. Just uh, just just cut yourself a 150mm length of spoke or whatever size, thread a nipple onto it, and uh, you're all good. But nevertheless, that might not be an option for some people. So what do you do? Well, you'd measure the inside face of the rim here to the inside face of the rim here. You'd then need to find a way of measuring whoop, spoke bed thickness. You'd probably use some sort of depth gauge on your vernier, but to make it super clear, in this case, that, that spoke bed on this test rim measures about 1.5. And then what you'd need to do is you'd add the top portion of two of your nipples, and that is how you'd measure ERD without having any of those fancy tools, though admittedly you need some sort of depth gauge and, and things anyway, so it's a roundabout way, I don't know why you'd do it, but you could.